Welcome to Total War Scramble for the Far East. We're going to be playing as the Americans here, um, trying to assist in the Boxer Rebellion, or trying to suppress the Boxer Rebellion, I should say. You can see that we've got all sorts of different um, guards here, including the Montgomery cards, all uh, Montgomery guards here, um, all the way from the U.S., and we are going to be facing, guys, a nice section of the Boxer Rebellion. We've managed to cut off this section from the main army, and it's, of course, our job to put a stop to them. Now, you can see them on the map here, but to get a proper look at them, we're going to have to zoom in and look up close. And yeah, they have a lot more men than we do, but we do have better technology. At least, that's what we've been told. Let's see if this stands up to the test of time, folks, and let's see if we can not put an end to this rebellion once and for all, or at least greatly damage it. I'm also going to grab these boys, bring them out here, and we'll return, my friends, when the fighting begins. Wish us luck. All right, we want to try to put a stop to this Qing Empire force here before they even make it to our position because we don't have the greatest position here in terms of uh, elevation. Um, they're going to get on those hills before we do. So I'm going to just go ahead and get things started, sending out our colonial infantry um, as well as our Montgomery guards. And this is our elite unit right here. Uh, these guys have the finest training, extremely expensive in the game itself and definitely want them on our side. I'll, of course, grab the cavalry as well and just bring them up too. But we're going to begin firing fairly soon here. So let's get into position. Um, I do want to use, of course, the cover that the trees are going to give me. But frankly, it's not even so much about cover in this fight. I think it's more about knocking down as many of the enemy as we can before they make it to our front lines. In fact, I'm going to bring up a co another colonial line infantry. And as soon as they break that hill, I'm hoping that we can start knocking down these Boxer Rebels once and for all. Get ready, boys. Alright, it begins now, folks. They are just gonna be in range in a few seconds here. In fact, I might premeditate that attack and start firing from the comfort of the woods here. We want to start knocking down the enemy quickly, show them we mean business. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. That is some serious firepower there. Uh, let's back up a little bit over here to our other units and try and assist. I'm going to try to spread them out as well. Just try and, you know, create a formidable line that the enemy's not going to be able to break. But we do want to remain on those hills. I don't really want to go into those gullies there. That's not going to help anybody but the enemy. Open fire. Hit those Ark of the Beard. Well, we've got a lot of enemy advancing, folks, but we hit a lot of them there. Look at that. First line of Boxer Rebels dropped. We gotta hit another line quickly. Come on, boys. Should get a visual. My goodness, watch those fire arrows. I knew they were gonna come prepared. Come on, man. Give them hell. Keep the fire going, boys. Keep the fire going. Take a look here. All right, we're going to assist. We're going to go ahead and charge in with the cavalry. This is Colonial Saber Cavalry. Almost looks like Confederates here. Charging in. Face is covered. Let's hope they have some luck, though. So far, we're continuing that gunfire, but unfortunately, uh, the large boxer line is approaching. Let's try and knock them down before they make it here. Hit the Dao infantry. These are actual uh, melee infantry units. Try to knock them down. And the green standard Jin infantry are also infantry or melee units, I should say. You can see those swords glinting in their hands. I want to put a stop to that. 
just see the cons consistent fire is pretty amazing. Nice! Oh, they are making contact. Let's hope our boys know how to use their bayonets. I don't really want to engage with um, any more of the line here. I'm going to keep the rest of these guys back here to protect the general. The enemy is absolutely falling upon us here. I am firing. Oh man, he's still alive. He's still alive. How about the cavalry? No, the cavalry are gone. Shattered by the enemy. We do have, I think, another cavalry unit. We're not going to mess with them yet, though. And it looks like these Americans are being overtaken by the boxers. We did what we could, man. We did what we could. We're just going to hold back at that uh, point behind us and hope that that's sufficient to stop what seems to be an absolutely massive enemy force. That artillery could have been placed better as well. Alright, looks like these guys are already firing. We're in the tree line, too. And I'm hoping that's what's going to save us here. We're also going to bring up this infantry unit, trying to get some flanking shots on the enemy. I just hope that everybody knows what to do here. We need that second line firing, or we stand no chance. Get behind us, boys. You can be saved. Still save these men, I think. Let's get to the, the tree line over here. They're all telling them to just run while you can. But we're not giving up that easily, folks. I don't like this elevation issue, but if we can just get a nice visual here on the Dow infantry, this flanking shot should be devastating. There we go. Yeah, look at them. Look at them drop, please. The state foot infantry is here to help. Fight you to the last man. Fight them to the last man, boys. We'll have to grab our last cavalry unit over here. And we absolutely want to try and assist those boys that have fought so bravely to hold the line. Let's hit their infantry right there. We'll go right for the other Dao infantry. At this point, we just really want to increase damage, try and do as much damage to the enemy as possible before they get to that second line. Fire! Deploying stakes would only be useful if we uh, were dealing with cavalry, but we're only dealing with enemy infantry, really. Hold them back, boys. Let's go back to our line here and see how things are doing. And actually, I want to back up with the uh, general. Just keep him kind of behind the line. But it looks like we are being completely overrun by the Chang Empire. Or the Boxer Rebels, whichever you want to call them. Shoot him, boys. Shoot him down. We'll fight the last man. Right, hey, look at this. Not bad. A nice little fallback. The enemy just now seems to be dispersing. It took a while. We still have men coming in, but most of their groups are starting to fall back now. We're going to try to fire at that blue banner infantry and see if we can't save the other um, American uh, infantry division here. I know those damn arrows are coming in, but this is our only hope is to knock the enemy off right here. Fire. charge. We still have a chance. Let's bring the general in quickly. Nope, the boys are falling back. 
And I think we want to try and get the general to safety too, folks. Well, there you go. A nice look at the combat in Total War Fots. Um, facing a massive Chinese force. And we got crushed. But I like to think that it was a pretty realistic uh, depiction of what would happen if you face such a large force.